Welcome to another deep dive right here on 10 Fox Movies. With us, Octo Thinkers, I'm Narain Omari, and oh man, let me tell you, we are going deep today, deep into the Marvel Universe. You are not going to want to miss this one. Yeah, strap in. We've been doing some research, piecing together some theories, and let's just say the future of the MCU could be looking very different. Game changing is an understatement. Remember WandaVision? Those adorable twins, Billy and Tommy. Right, yeah. Yeah, well, their existence could change everything we thought we knew about Wanda, about magic, about reality itself. Right off the bat, you see Vision, an android, somehow having kids with Wanda. That just screams deeper meaning, you know? That's not just some random plot point. It's a paradox that hints at a power far beyond anything we've seen before. It's true. I mean, we always knew Wanda was powerful. She warped all of Westview, for goodness sake. But to actually willed children into existence within the Hex... That's some next level magic. Exactly. And don't forget how time worked inside the hex. Totally different, right? The twins aged up like that. Someone hit fast forward on their childhood. Exactly. And that kind of manipulation of time, of reality, it suggests there's something much bigger at play here. Something beyond even Wanda Maximoff herself. Okay, so are we talking about like a cosmic power source? Yeah. Or another being entirely? Glad you asked because that's where things get really interesting. What if Wanda isn't the source of this power? What if she's more like a conduit? A conduit for what? We think it all comes back to Agatha Harkness and specifically her connection to the Darkhold. The Book of Dark Magic. The one and only. You see, the Darkhold has these whispers in it, mentions of this entity, this incredibly powerful being, and they call it Wanda. Hold on, Wanda. As in another Wanda. Not Wanda Maximoff, but like... A cosmic Wanda. It sounds crazy, right? But all signs point to this Wanda being a primordial force woven into the very fabric of the multiverse. Okay, so let me get this straight. We have Wanda, who desperately wants a family. We have Agatha, who's always scheming, always after more magic, and she's got her hands in the dark hold. <laughs> and now we have this cosmic Wanda, a being of unimaginable power. And right in the middle of it all, Billy and Tommy. Two kids who are somehow at the epicenter of a cosmic mystery. A mystery that we believe is only just beginning to unravel. Picture this, a spider web, right? All covered in dew, shimmering in the morning light. Each dripelet, that's a different reality, a different possibility. And Wanda, this entity, she's the web itself. Okay, I like that. So where do Agatha and the twins fit into this web? Are they just flies caught in it? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Are they pawns or are they something more? Think about the comics for a second. Billy and Tommy, they grow up to be pretty powerful heroes. Wiccan and Speed. Oh, yeah. Wiccan with magic like Wanda and Speed. He's a speedster, right? <laughs> like his Uncle Pietro. You're saying this isn't just a coincidence that their comic book story could be a big clue to what's going on in the MCU. What if their connection to this entity, this Wanda, is what gives them their powers? What if they're like destined to play a major role in the future of the multiverse itself? Okay, well, hold on. We're talking about the fate of entire realities here. But something's still not clicking for me. What is Agatha getting out of all of this? Why create these powerful beings, these heroes, if she's supposed to be the villain? Uh, but is she the villain? Or is she playing a much longer game? Remember, Agatha's ancient. She's been around. Her understanding of magic is beyond anything we've ever seen. Maybe she needs the twins for something. To control Wanda. To, like, use the power of the multiverse for herself. Now that's a scary thought, isn't it? Or maybe she knows something we don't. Maybe she sees the bigger picture, you know? A threat coming that only someone with a connection to Wanda can stop. You're blowing my mind here. So we've got these two powerful kids, maybe destined for greatness, caught up in this cosmic battle. And on one side you have Agatha. Her motives are a total mystery. And on the other side, there's Wanda. And we don't even know what this entity really is or what it wants. Oh, and don't forget about the multiverse itself. Realities are colliding. There are variants everywhere. Who knows what part Billy and Tommy might play in all this? It's like we're standing on the edge of a cliff here, looking out at this endless sea of possibilities. Every clue we find just leads to more questions. And that's what I love about all this, right? It's a mystery that goes beyond anything we've ever seen. The stakes are higher than ever before. Got it. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, really. We found some clues, sure, made some connections, but the bigger picture, it's still forming right in front of us. And that's where you come in, listeners. We want to hear from you. What's Agatha really up to here? What do you think? What about this Wanda entity? And what does it mean for the multiverse? Could Billy and Tommy be the key to like saving everything or are they going to get caught in the crossfire what do you think 
head down to the comments and let us know. Let's get this conversation going. Because here at OctoThinkers, oh. here on 10 Fox Movies, we are all about going deep down the rabbit hole with the Marvel Universe. We are right there with you. So if you're as excited about all this as we are, make sure you hit that like button. And show this deep dive with your friends. Let's get everyone talking. Because the more we talk about it, the more we theorize, the closer we get to understanding the massive, incredible world that is the Marvel Universe. And hey, who knows? Maybe we'll figure it all out together. Until next time, keep those theories coming and never stop asking questions.